good morning children today we are going to learn about your new chapter chapter number 5 seeds and seeds so first let us dive into the story of gopal gopal was waiting for his mouse's family to visit them they will be coming the next day for their holidays he was thinking about all the fun and nice food that he would have with his cousins so as we can see gopal is very excited to meet his cousins and also about the food as it seems just then his mother called out gopal before you sleep remember to soak two small bowls that is katoris of chana or gram she was going to his bua's house and would return only in the morning as he was soaking the chana gopal thought how will two small bowls of this be enough for eight persons so that's a great question that gopal came up with that how only two small bowls of chana can satisfy the hunger of eight peoples let's see what happens so he soaked another two bowls of chana when his mother returned the next morning she saw that the chana were overflowing from the vessel how much did you soak asked his mother how did it happen wondered gopal so that's an interesting phenomenon that happened with gopal as he was going for two small bowls of chana but he didn't have a idea that how it was overflowing with chana in the morning so let us learn more about the phenomenon so as you can see after gopal was amused to see what happened with the chanas how did it went from such a tiny amount to overflowing chana we will learn about this in our upcoming portion 
let's move on with Gopal's story and find out what happens next. You soaked too much. Anyway, it is good. Now, I will cook them half and leave the other half to sprout. So, that's a new term for us. So, let's find out what is sprout. I can send these to your aunt. The doctor has told her to eat sprouts. Mother said she tied half of the soaked chana in a wet cloth and hung them up to sprout. So, students, let us learn a bit more about what is sprouting. Sprouting is the natural process by which seeds or spores germinate and put out shoots. An already established plants produce new leaves or buds or other newly developing parts experience further growth. So, we have learned about sprouting. So, now, let us know something more about seeds. So, sprouting, we can say, is a stage for germination of seed. That is, the journey of a plant from being a seed to a seedling to a small plant to a large tree. This journey has certain requirements which include sufficient water which is a very important factor when it comes to sprouting or even germination. Next in the list lies sunlight and warmth. There is a major effect of warmth of sunlight when it comes to this process of germination but for the process of sprouting 
air and sufficient water are the most important things which affect the whole phenomenon well it takes place so now let us learn about some of the benefits of sprouts sprouts contain an unusually high content of living enzymes these enzymes further help in boosting your metabolic process and improve chemical reactions within the body specifically when it comes to digestion so as you can see sprouts increases and keeps healthy your digestion process enzymes help us break down food effectively as we have learned in the last chapters and enhance the absorption of nutrients by the digestive tract sprouts also have a lot of dietary fiber which regulates digestion basically fiber bulks up the stool making it easier to pass through the digestive system so this is a huge source of fiber which helps in your digestion process sprouts boost blood circulation sprouts help in boosting your blood circulation by maintaining your red blood cell count with significant amounts of iron and copper these are the essential nutrients needed in your body this further helps in supplying oxygen to various organs and cells to optimize their performance so as we know oxygen is very important to keep our body running sprouts tend to repair capillaries to get strong and thick hair too healthy blood supply is good stimulant for hair growth it helps generate new blood vessels and increase circulation to scalp follicles simply we can say sprouts help in your blood circulation hair growth and overall well being let us now look more into details it builds your immune system immune system protects your body from diseases sprouts have a high vitamin c content that make it a powerful stimulant for white blood cells body to fight off infections and diseases and thus building your immune system in our immune system white blood cells are the soldiers who fight against diseases it also has abundant vitamin a and a number of antioxidant properties and a great source of immune system strength make sure you sprout well to reap the maximum profits remember
Hearts friendly sprouts have omega-3 fatty acids which help in boosting your heart system and keeping your cardiovascular system which is your heart system healthy and keep you away from heart diseases. So, as it seems, it's time for today's activity. So, today's activity will be for you to collect some chana and sprout them by giving them proper conditions needed for the sprouting to be done properly alongside growing sprouts with the help of chana at home also do mention at least three benefits of sprouts that we have in our day-to-day -day life so it's time for us to discuss some questions what things are soaked before cooking in your house why next question what things do you eat after sprouting how are they sprouted how much time 